Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to be going over stashes, the small stashes that you can buy from the bar and possibly from the sub factions. I'm not really sure about that since I haven't been to the sub faction areas and joined one. But the guy in the bar here sells along with everything else at the very bottom down here. Once you get to level five reputation, you can buy small stashes. These are three by twos, so six little cells that you can put things in. They hold up to six kilograms of items. So if you put one stack of an item in there that weighs up to six kilograms, that's all you can put in. The maximum of six kilogram weight. Uh, each one of these lasts two days before they disappear. Chance of detection, meaning somebody stumbling across it or apparently from what I've read, throwing bolts counts as a chance of detection. So like if you're just running around throwing a bolt, you have a 2.5% chance if you hit the area where this is to detect it. And also a 2.5% chance of just running across it and it showing up. 1% uh, chance when you die, if you have a stash down somewhere to drop a marker I'm going to see if I can get footage of it or at least a screenshot of what the marker looks like and how it works. But with a 1% chance, I would have to kill either somebody who was working with me or have somebody kill me possibly a hundred times before I would get one to drop. So the likelihood of me actually getting a hold of a marker is going to be pretty low. It seems like not a lot of people use these stashes, so it's even lower. So reputation five and six for the bar only makes it 24,000. For the small stash, once you hit seven, which is the max reputation with the bar, it drops it down to 15,000 per stash. So, and like I said earlier, you have to be at least level five reputation to have access to buy them. All right, so we're over in the Dead City. I am going to be doing some farming up here, like I said, because I have still yet to farm up all the materials for my other weapon video. So I'm going to show you how these stashes work. Once you go in your inventory, you're going to right click it and say make stash. And then it's going to hop onto the ground. And if you've ever played Fallout 4 building system, you know that when it's green, you can put it down. When it's red, you can't. I'm gonna see how close I can get it to this bush here. Right there. And then you hit right mouse button to actually place it and F to cancel. And if you see right above it, it says stash is placed zero out of three. We're gonna put this one right here. You see the countdown timer now says one minute and it's counting down. Or once it gets to zero, then you can actually put stuff in here. It says the stash is being disguised, remaining time 40 seconds. So you can't actually put a stash down and throw stuff in it really fast. You have to wait the minute out for it to actually be usable. And while it's not usable, it shows up as white on your map. So I'm going to throw one there. Let's throw one somewhere over here. I'm kind of just throwing these down to show you guys. And here, this one over here just turned green, which means I can access it. And the other two should turn green here shortly. And these actually show up on your big map as well. And you don't have to write anything. They automatically show up as a stash. When you mouse over it, it gives you the weight in the stash. So that if I had something in there, tell me this one is four kilograms out of six kilograms. And it gives you the remaining time on the stash. So let's throw some stuff in this one. Can you throw a stash in a stash? You can, I'll be damned. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw We'll throw that in there. Let's throw some bullets in there. And to actually put something in the stash, you have to physically come click put down and that locks it in. Now, if you wanted to put something else in, you could click put down up here and see these top three are locked because there's already something in that slot. And if you want to pick things up, you can shift click it or you can drag it. And then you click take down here. And you can pick the stash back up as you see. And if you pick the stash up, it seems to stop the actual countdown timer because it says remaining time of existence. One day, 23 hours, 57 minutes and five seconds. That's not actually going down. So as long as you pick it back up, it seems to halt the timer. And then you can put it back down somewhere else. I'm going to throw that one back down. Now that I've placed three stashes down, you can only have a total of three stashes down at once. Now that I've got three down, I'm trying to put down a fourth one. It's just telling me your stashes placed are maxed out. Stashes placed three out of three, limit of play stashes reached. It doesn't matter if you go into another zone. Like if I were to go back into the pit and try to place it down, it's not going to let me. Three stashes total. So if you want to maximize your farming in an area, I guess, you can put all three of your stashes in that area where you're going to be farming, or you can place them kind of all around the map like me. I'm probably going to be farming in the, the dead city quite a bit here, but if you were going to be doing north runs, you could strategically place them. You could place one somewhere in the north area, somewhere central, and then one maybe at the front or right outside in the fool's path so that it's not a free-for-all zone. Let's just say you, you throw one here. You could throw another one somewhere like central here. And then you could throw another one somewhere out here. This is outside of the fool's path, red forest transition area. 
you can't be killed by your own faction once you get outside of here. So you could leapfrog your items, do some farming up here, throw your good stuff in here, take some of it, run it down here, dump it in this one and kind of leapfrog back and forth so that you, if you do die, you don't really have anything on you. And you could slowly move your items from here to here and then do the same thing. Take one stack of whatever it is you're farming, try to get it out to here and run back and forth. Because if you have all your items on you when you get killed, let's just say here somewhere trying to transition, you've lost everything. Whereas if you leapfrogging your items out, in my mind, that's probably safer. Yeah, you're gonna be running back and forth a lot more, but you don't lose everything you farmed. All right, so I tried for the better part of like two hours to get a stash marker to drop from somebody who had stashes down, could not get it to drop. So I'm not gonna be able to show you physically how to use the marker, but essentially, if you do get a stash marker, it's gonna look like a little SIM card. You have one hour to come to an artifact researcher and you research it the exact same way you do an artifact. You just throw it in here, click the research button, and it will mark their stash location on your map. And then you have however long is left to go and get it. It doesn't restart the timer when you click it. So if you only have 45 minutes left on the marker, when you research it, you're gonna have 45 minutes to find that stash. And once you go out into the world, the stash will appear for you just like it does for whoever dropped it. It'll just be a box on the ground that you can loot. So like I said, I really wish I could have got you footage of it, but I've tried for about two hours to get one to drop and it would not drop. With that being said, if this video helped you out, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one and I will catch you in the next video. Y'all take it easy.